Why did these silent sentinels become the target of destruction? What profound secrets were unearthed in the hidden caves behind their remnants? And how does their legacy continue to inspire resilience and hope in the face of adversity? Welcome back to MetaHub Discovery, where we unfold the secrets of history. In the heart of Afghanistan's rugged mountains, nestled within the Bamiyan Valley, stood two colossal Buddhas, silent witnesses to centuries of human history. Carved into the living rock, they were the embodiment of peace and serenity, overlooking the ancient Silk Road. The larger of the two, Sal Sal, stretched skyward at 180 feet, its name meaning, the light shines through the universe. Beside it, the smaller, yet no less majestic Shah Mama, the Queen Mother, stood at 125 feet. Together, they were a beacon of enlightenment, drawing travelers from distant lands. These statues were not born overnight. It was a labor of love and devotion, as artisans sculpted the sandstone cliffs, their hands guided by faith. The blend of Greek and Buddhist artistry gave life to their expressions, once highlighted by vibrant stucco and paint. But not all tales have a happy ending. In a devastating act of destruction, the Taliban obliterated the Buddhas, reducing them to rubble. The world watched in horror as history was erased in moments. In the year 2001, a decree thundered across Afghanistan, echoing the Taliban's resolve to erase history. The Buddhas, deemed false idols, faced the wrath of intolerance. Explosions shattered the serenity of Bamiyan, reducing the majestic statues to rubble, leaving behind a scarred visage on the cliffside. As the dust settled, the world mourned the loss of cultural treasures, but fate had a twist in store. Seven years hence, amidst the ruins, an Afghan-led team of archaeologists uncovered a secret passage. Behind the fallen Buddhas lay a network of hidden caves, untouched by time. Within these caverns, the archaeologists found something extraordinary. Oil paintings that adorned the ancient walls. These vibrant artworks, dating back to the 5th century, challenged history itself. They were the silent narrators of an artistic legacy, predating the European renaissance of oil painting by centuries. The Buddhas of Bamiyan may have fallen, but their spirit endures in the colors of the caves. The discovery of these paintings is a beacon of hope, a reminder that even in destruction, there lies the potential for revelation and the enduring power of human creativity. Walls of the hidden caves tell stories of a time when Bamiyan was a crossroads of civilizations, a chapter of history that refuses to be forgotten. They were sanctuaries of solace, chambers of contemplation, adorned with vibrant frescoes that whispered tales of a spiritual quest. As the Buddhas fell to the ravages of time and turmoil, the caves embraced a new purpose. They became the refuge for Afghan families, the Shia Hazara, who fled the flames of their homes. Within these ancient walls, they crafted a life from wood and mud brick, a testament to their unyielding spirit amidst poverty's shadow. The Bamiyan Valley, scarred yet sovereign, continues to stand as a United Nations educational, scientific, and cultural organization World Heritage Site. Tireless souls from Afghanistan and beyond unite under UNESCO's banner, striving to preserve the valley's legacy. Conservation efforts breathe new life into the murals and fortresses, ensuring the valley's echoes never fade. As the sun sets on the rugged silhouettes of Bamiyan, the caves stand as silent sentinels of history. They are the keepers of stories, the guardians of generations. And in their enduring presence, the spirit of Bamiyan lives on, ever resilient, ever remembered. What other treasures might slumber within these ancient walls? As we stand at the crossroads of history and mystery, we must ask ourselves, what untold stories await in the silent shadows of Bamiyan's caves? What secrets do the sands of time still cradle, waiting for the light of discovery to reveal them?